Today, what we're doing here at Osborne House is launching uh, the Isle of Wight's first ever destination management organisation. So this is a public-private sector partnership of businesses and the council and the chamber all working together, starting a new journey to promote the Isle of Wight to mainland and overseas visitors. Now, obviously, the Isle of Wight, like many other tourism places, is suffering for the economy. I mean, how bad is it here, in, in your viewpoint? Well, I think de um, the performance on the Isle of Wight depends really who you talk to. There are some areas on the island that have done very well. Uh, we're, we're here at Osborne House, which has had a very good season this year because it's invested, it's got new attractions, and it's attracted new people uh, to experience those. But there are sectors in the island that need certainly some help and some support. Uh, and the DMO's role is to both market the island as a whole to try and get the numbers up, but also to help individual sectors on the island try and make more of their performance. So what sort of things are you proposing to help the island market itself? Well, we're going to take a thematic approach uh, to the work that we do, which is to say that we're going to pick on some of the distinctive differences about the island that you can't experience on the mainland. So, for instance, we'll be looking at the heritage that the island's got for music. Music, of course, is a great uh, communicator. It's something that appeals to young people and to old people and many people in between. And the island has got fantastic experiences from one-man bands playing in local pubs to string quartets at Osborne House to orchestra on the prom to Coldplay and Stevie Wonder in a Field. So that, for instance, is one theme that we will pick up and we will start to stand behind that and talk about the island in a creative way that will attract people's attention and hopefully draw more people here.